Part 3 of the Switching to Manjaro 10 Day Challenge Series. And today I did a full system upgrade of 143 packages. <laughs> Something. So sticking with my Part 3 series, Almost, it always ends a disaster sometime in part three, right? Whether it's about a week in, usually. Well, we all have seen it before, that flashing red symbol in your system tray, if you have one, depending on your Linux install. And you click on it, and you're like, oh, 143 packages. Well, it's probably not a good idea to upgrade them all at the same time, but I've been kind of pushing this away, pushing it off. Let's go ahead and do it. That, and I need YouTube content, and I always need some kind of part three drama, right? So I open up Terminal, go ahead and uh, do a Pac-Man dash, capital S, lowercase y, lowercase u. Let's do it. Hit enter. Oh, crap. It's Linux kernels. Well, all right. So this is going to be a couple minutes. So it downloads all 150. 43 and starts installing them, starts building the kernels, reloads grub and rebuilds it. Uh, well, at least it made it through the install, right? Then you go to reboot. That's the true test. What happens at the reboot? We've been here. We know what happens at the reboot. Usually not good. But it rebooted just fine. Came back up, everything was gravy. Worked great. So, what about all this stuff I upgraded? It's just on the newer version. I have another kernel sitting on my install and things are good. But what about any other issues I've been running into? I've been gone, you know, doing other things for about three days. How much? And there's some stuff um, I notice when I lock my computer for more than, uh, you know, overnight, and then I come back in the morning, sometimes it'll still lock up. And if you go back to my Arch series, I had this problem as well with the lockups. Uh, I had, think it's something to do with actually using the lock screen or K-lock or whatever it is for the package. Uh, something in there and my hardware don't jive well with each other, so... For the past couple days, I've just been letting my screen go to sleep instead of locking my computer, which I don't really care. It's sitting in my house. And, um, yeah, no issues there thus yet, but I'll update you on part four of this on the finale. Um, and other than that, I've been doing a bunch of installs trying to get uh, some speed running software going because I don't particularly do speed runs, but I know a lot of people in the forums and other places have said, hey, uh, some Windows gamers wouldn't do Linux because there's no real good speed running software. So I kind of want to showcase that and I'll probably do that in a live stream setting. Um, and uh, I was going to pick fallout new vegas because one i never actually beat the game and two the speed run looks like it's only like uh, the world record's 35 minutes or something with glitchless i don't do glitches and all that business um so i thought hey might give that a whirl um and i was reading fallout new vegas if you've ever played it on pc uh it is crazy buggy like <laughs> you start modding it and it, it becomes the most unstable pile of you know what and I've heard that it is far stabler on, is stabler a word? I don't know. But it's far more stable on Linux than it is on Windows. So I was like, hey, this would be a great time to kind of test that out. And I might even do that on a live stream so you can just kind of get that initial reaction just to see what happens. Um, but that's all I've been doing, really. I've just kind of been messing around here and there, doing some other packages, uh, some virtualization, uh, using VirtualBox and QEMU, but nothing too earth shattering that I don't do every day. Uh, and that is it for part three. There really hasn't been much. And that is a fantastic thing because I really try and make part three a disaster. <laughs> it's just such a good story to tell. But there's really no story here. It just worked. 
So, hey, Manjaro, you, sir, are wonderful. Or, or ma'am, I don't know if, if Manjaro, we'll just call it it, since it is an operating, or distribution. I don't know, I'm getting sidetracked here, it's late. Really late. So, I'm going to call it here. So, I'll see you in the next video.